Good day. Welcome to King Willemer's Everything. We got a blast from the past. This is kind of a little newer version of it. But Merlin, I think this came out in 1978. And this is kind of like a little smaller version. And it has little different buttons. I believe, I can't remember, the original one had like a little round buttons and the little red LED in there, the old school LED. I think this still has that LED in there. But this has more mushy, nice uh, modern buttons. And I believe it has the six same games. It's the original Electronic Wizard game. Uh, six, let's see, six challenging games of logic, skill, and luck. And it says it's from Milton Bradley. I think it was originally Parker Brothers. And ages six and up includes the batteries. I don't think the original included batteries. But I remember everybody had this. Everybody had one. If you're cool in the 70s, you had this bad boy, and then you quickly got tired of it. And it does have six games, but I think they were called something different. But they're, they're, I think they're the same. Uh, Tic-Tac-Toe. Uh, this is a crazy song. I remember we make the song and get to play it and play it back. And this one, listen and watch as Merlin plays a tune. And so to play the tune, and then you got to repeat it. Number five was, uh, oh, you got to make a square. I don't remember. I don't remember playing that one. And then six, use strategy and deduction to crack the secret code and discover Merlin's mystery number. So you got to kind of guess what the, the secret code is. So kind of a fun thing. I remember in 1978, you know, you had the Atari 2600 just came out. So stuff like this, electronics, really cool. Especially stuff that did multiple games. And you can see somebody has already opened. Oh, it has manual in there too. Let's get it out. And put that over there. It's got the manual. And I think you kind of need the manual. Otherwise, you don't know what game you're playing. Unless you kind of memorize them. Oh, here we go. Uh, on off switch. Okay, yeah, see here, Mindbender. Oh, no, it's got the right names. It's just, uh... Okay. Uh, one was Tic-Tac-Toe, Music Machine, Echo, uh, Blackjack, and five was Magic Square, and six, Mindbender. Mindbender. So that, that was the name of the games. No, it doesn't say that on the back, but that's what they are. So let's play. Let's talk more play. And we turn it on. So one is tic tac toe. Tic tac toe. And we tied. I think if I win, it says, oh, player winner. You can see here's one, two, three, four, five, six. Those are the games. Um, oh, here's Hit Me, Merlin. Select, select, select game. Let's play. What was number two? What was number two? Was uh, create a song. Let's see. So you kind of get the idea. You can probably, as a child, you can drive your parents insane by. If you knew the right combo, you can do a neat, neat, neat tune. Select game. Select games. Like, it's so angry. What was three was, I think, Blackjack. Uh, oh, you got to copy the tune. Echo. Echo. Merlin wins. Jerk. Okay, new game. Select game. Blackjack 13. Oh, see, so it told me Blackjack. Thirteen. What's seven and two? Uh, hit me. Merlin wins. Oh, okay, so you got to get over thirteen. Let's see. Select game. Uh, let's do five. Magic square. Oh, magic square. Yeah, I don't know how to play that one. You Select. Game. Six. Mindbender. Mindbender. And somebody tries. I think I'm listening for a certain tone. Yeah, 
you kind of get the idea. That one, I don't know. I might find it fun. I kind of like the, the tic-tac-toe. Simple. I gotta beat the stupid thing. I gotta beat you. Oh, yeah. I won! So you kind of get the idea. Kind of a fun game. I mean, I'm not sure how much you want to play it now, but it's kind of neat to see, you know, in 78, when this came out, this was a blast. Probably kept little kids entertained for many, many hours. Actually, it was quite a bit bigger, but still, this is kind of fun. I think probably it was bigger because it was just electronics weren't quite as cool as they are now and compressed. This is a nice little size, especially for travel, you know, but and there is no volume, so if you're in a car with a bunch of kids... It might not make it very far. Probably make it out the window. That's about far as you're going to get. And uh, it's got a couple of batteries in it, so it'll probably last a while. But it does have, which I'm kind of I impressed. It looks like it has the same like little round old school LEDs in it. So I'm not sure what the year this thing came out. It's from Hasbro. Does it have a year on it? Oh, 2003. Uh, so it's been out for a little while. But it does have the old school uh, LEDs. Other than having like, I remember it had like more of a round button with like a dome on it. So and they were, I think they were kind of recessed. But this is still pretty cool, you know, for what it is. It's kind of interesting to. I kind of remember it. It was so cool, and everybody had it. And now I got a new one. I got a newer version of it. How cool is that? And we got the manual. So there you go. That is Merlin, the original Electronic Wizard. Enjoy, and have a great day.